Hi church, my name is Frankie and with my husband Tim we are here in Geneva uh, and we are the location pastors here. Um, it's great to be with you whatever time, wherever you are listening to this and to be sharing a thought with you um, all around our series This Audacious Life. And the verse that we've been exploring, meditating together is in Luke 2, 52. So let's start by reading it. And Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favour with God and man. And in particular, I want to share around one of our core values this, this morning, which is to be fiercely determined. So it is um, our desire as a church to be a light um, to be the light of the world, a city on a hill and an inspiration to those around um, that we will be an attractive people. And it's our desire that as a group of people that we would set goals and achieve them, that we would be fiercely determined to see our dreams become a reality. Now, there's lots of important ingredients that are needed to achieve goals, determination, hard work strategy. Um, but I just want to touch on something today um, that's maybe a little bit more subtle, but absolutely vital in driving us over the finish line to achieve our ambitions. And that is motive. Now, let me ask you a question. In your specific ambitions at the moment, what is your motive? What is the driving reason behind your goals? See, motives are incredibly powerful and they actually produce fierce determination. In Tim's and my journey in moving to Geneva, um, from the beginning, our motive was fixed and it kept us resolute through the journey, through the ups and the downs. See, we have a burning passion to see people come to know Jesus and that he, and, and to build a church, a glorious church that reflects our awesome God. And, and it was that motive that I actually believe is, is straight from the heart of God that kept us fighting and steadfast throughout the whole, whole you know, the, the, the whole journey. And, um, and yeah, and, and um, let me just read Psalm 1339, verse 23 to 24. Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is anything offensive, uh, if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. So for you at the moment, what are your motives? What is the driving force behind what you do day to day? Why do you go to work? Why do you wake up in the morning? Maybe it's people. Maybe it's a loved one. Family. Maybe it's power. Maybe it's money and wealth to acquire more. Why? Why is that a motive? See, I believe as Christians, we're all on a journey to become more Christ-like. And as we spend time with him, as we surrender to him, and obey him, actually there's a transformation that goes on, an exchange of our motives for his, for his kingdom come on earth, for salvation, for freedom, for love. And I just, and that's what I want to um, pray for this morning and where I want to finish, that we would be a people whose hearts and motives are aligned with God. And that that would produce fierce determination in us to pursue and achieve the things of God. See, when disappointments might come, that fierce determination um, compels us on. And when kicks back, kickbacks come, the, if our motivations are pure and they are godly, then they... they um, they cause us to rise up and to pursue and achieve the things of God. So let me read you one more verse to encourage us. And then I want to pray really quickly. Hebrews 10 verse 39. 
But we do not belong to those who shrink back and are destroyed, but to those who have faith and are saved. So let's pray. God, I thank you this morning for um, your heart and I thank you for your heart of love. Um, Lord, I just pray today that we would have an exchange of our motives for yours, that our motives would be pure and in this life that our motives would be uh, for your kingdom come, your will be done on this earth. So help us to be um, fiercely determined in the things of you and to achieve that which what you want to do in us and through us. I thank you for everyone uh, listening and watching. Would you bless them today in Jesus' name? Amen. Amen. Well, thanks so much for tuning in. Um, I hope that's been an encouragement and uh, food for thought today for you. So have a great day, church. And we look forward to seeing you online or in a campus or location this Sunday. Take care.